Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book haul for you. It is a giant book haul. I have too many books. I'm aware. I have book boxes, some that I'm reps for, some that I bought. I have some from authors, from publishers, and other ones that I bought. So we will go ahead and get to in everything I have. It's a lot, so buckle in, get ready for a very long video. The first book that I have is one that I am so, so excited for. My book box came, and it was honestly one of the best book boxes I've ever received. Shadows of You by Katherine Cowles. This came out today, the day I'm filming this. I'm not posting this till Monday, but today is Thursday, and this came out, and it is stunning, amazing, gorgeous. This copy is actually the one that I'm going to be giving away on my social media, so be on the lookout for that, but this is a small town, single mom, grumpy sunshine. Here who's very damaged because they thought that he had murdered someone in his past. He was accused of it and he's like, no, but now he can't trust people because of how betrayed he felt when that happened. So she's a single mom with a hidden past and there's some romantic suspense. It's so good. Please read this if you haven't yet. I also had to order myself a copy of Hopeless by Elsie Silver. This is book five in the Chestnut Spring series and I need to get the other edition too because these are going out of print because I'll just go ahead and show you these two. They are now being published by Bloom. So I did get these sent from Bloom. We have Heartless and Powerless. Powerless and Reckless are actually my favorites in the series but I do I think I gave in all of them five stars except for hopeless hopeless I gave three and a half I wasn't super in love with the story it is Bo's book and it's an age gap she's 22 he's 35 and he was a prisoner of war so he is going through a lot and he just is kind of lost he's working on his brother's ranch and they strike up a friendship they start a fake engagement and that's where the story goes this was just like not as amazing as I wanted it to be but love these two so very excited to have all three of these in my collection Okay, I have a lot of options on where to go next, so I'll just go to go in the stack in front of me. I have a bunch from Berkeley that they sent my way, so they sent me these five books. We have Iris Kelly Doesn't Date by Ashley Herring Blake. I actually don't know what this one's about because I know the second one is about like home renovations. So this is a fake relationship after a horrible one night stand. I love the first book in the series and I'm excited for more from this author, so the cover's super pretty too. The other ones I feel like were not this floppy, but very excited to read that. We also have Sweeten the Deal by Katie Shepard. <laughs> so this one is a woman who is 10 years younger than him, but she's his sugar daddy. And that's what this says. Oh, she inherits $2 million. He is broke in 33. His roommate lists him on an escort site and matches with her. This sounds very entertaining, and Berkeley is getting floppier and floppier, and I love it. Then we do have Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lise. I haven't heard the best things about the previous book in this series, so I didn't read it, but this one is Childhood Enemies to Lovers, and it is a reimagining of the Taming of the Shrew. How fun. We have A Dawn of Onyx by Kate Golden. I actually think my sister read this back when it was indie published, and it is now traditionally published, which is really exciting. She's kidnapped by the uh, kingdom, and she has to use her abilities to heal the soldiers of the king, and she has untold powers. So, oh no, she has to work with a fellow prisoner, and I'm assuming they fall in love. I'm very excited for that one. And then the last one I have, I love this cover. It's called Guys Girl. It's Emma Noyes. And Chris and Becca Richie blurbed it. I feel like I have not seen this around at all. Ooh, okay. So it says that she's always loved being friends with guys. She just finds it easier until this one guy. And she's like, I am feeling something more and she doesn't know how she feels. So she reevaluates her rules of friendship with guys. And then it says, though, that they fall into something intoxicating and dangerous. Oh, and then it also does say that she has an eating disorder, so that means exposing something to him that she doesn't let other people know about. Sounds very good. I'm excited for that one. Then I have special editions. I Where did my other one go? This came with three. Maybe it's somewhere else in these stacks. Um, but I have... Where would I have put the other one? I have these two, and I'm missing my Katherine Kells one. I don't know where I put it. We have Written in the Scars by Adriana Locke. It is so pretty. I don't know if I can... There we go. They all have foiling on them, and on the inside, all of them have these pages that are stunning. I think that's the same for each one. Oh, and then the other one is just this house. So they all have that, and they are so, so pretty. And then we have Laura Pavlov. We have Always Mine, and these are from Beyond the Pages. They are an Australian book box. I had ordered that because Catherine was in it. 
now I can't find the Catherine book. I don't know where I put it. I literally just opened those yesterday, so I know it's in here somewhere, but the next four are from my order from Dark and Corky. I do want to cut back on boxes that I order from. I don't have a lot. Typically, if it's like an all-time favorite author, I will order from them, or I love Dark and Corky so much. It's Dark and Corky and Hello Lovely are like my two main love them so much. So I did get this box. We have Fake Empire by C.W. Farnsworth, and we have chess pieces there. These are always so stunning. We have The Alias by Lena Hendricks, which is so pretty as well. This is definitely one that I want to get to reading. We have Don't Kiss the Bride, which this isn't my favorite edition I've seen of this book, but I do think it's really pretty. I do like that end pages and stuff. So not end pages. They have pretty end pages. Ooh, pretty. Sprayed edges. And then this one's my favorite. I am obsessed. It's in a jam. I haven't read this yet, but look at the pink and the blue in the, oh my gosh, it is stunning, this edition. I'm assuming tulips are important in this book, but so pretty. I'm obsessed. This one's my favorite one in the box. Absolutely my favorite. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go to this stack. This one has some I bought and some I got. So the first one I got from the publisher is Midnight at the Christmas Bookshop by Jenny Colgan. I'm so ready for Christmas romances. I'm gonna have actually an entire video straighten that out oh okay <laughs> got it <laughs> i'm gonna have to trim that um i think it got folded in the cutting process of the of the of the printing process i'm gonna i'm gonna fix that <laughs> it's like all stuck out should i just stick it back in and pretend that didn't happen we're just gonna stick it stick it back in there so this one is a, oh the sequel to the christmas bookshop it's about a bookshop in edinburgh which is scotland which is my favorite an american production company decides to film a movie there for a very cheesy christmas movie so they end up filming the movie there and the owner of the bookshop ends up expanding the bookshop and finds some secrets when they expand so looks very cute i'm super excited for all all the christmas things then i have thank you for sharing by rachel runia katz this one was sent to me from the publisher so apparently 14 years ago they went to summer camp together and had a really big blow up discussion that ended their friendship and then they are seated next to each other on a plane and then they end up having to work together so this has some history and drama involved and it sounds good so I'm excited to have that then I did end up buying a few so I visited Tori in Georgia and we went to Second and Charles which is a used bookstore so I ended up getting these two I know for sure so we have Angels Fall which is a romantic suspense and she was the sole survivor of something that had happened and now she's settling down in Wyoming she sees someone get murdered and so that's what this book is about sounds so fun and then I also got River's End by Nora Roberts I just like love this edition so much I had to get it and these were not that expensive they were like this one was $4.50 at the bookstore so look at just the it's just very fall to me I believe in this one I think her father murdered her mother and the hero comes to like move there and he oh he's a writer and the son of the police officer who found her and I think they help like rehash what happened so very excited for that one and then I don't remember where I got this one it's three fates it might have been at a half price books oh so he had a family heirloom that got stolen and these three women are trying to get it back so very interesting premise. Very excited to have more in my Nora Roberts collection. I know I need to read more. Then I did end up pre-ordering The Duke Gets Desperate by Diana Quincy. I'm so excited to read this one. Though the, the fonts in these are getting bigger and bigger in these historical romances. That font is so big. This one is about a duke who inherits his father's title. His father passed away and left things to his stepmother and he despises her. Oh, and then she dies and they think that he did it. And the heroine is the one who inherits it from a cousin who is, I guess, his stepmother who died. So he's like, this is my castle. This sounds so good. I don't think I've ever read the synopsis, but I cannot wait to read this one. I also got some from the publisher Moondance by Nora Roberts, which is actually, I believe, two books in one. We have The Last Honest Woman. Oh, and her husband was a race car legend, and he died in a crash. And then the next one is Dance to the Piper, which is about music and Broadway and a music mogul. It's very pretty excited for that. I was also sent Twisted Secret by Katie Robert. This one's a mafia romance and she falls for the dark tortured hero. 
so we'll see how that one goes. Then I was also sent Best Frenemies by Max Monroe. They are actually co-workers and have to go on a vacation together because they were accidentally booked in the same place and neither of them wants to leave so they have to spend vacation together at the same place and it sounds so so good. I was also sent a very amazing box from Kat Singleton that involved Tempt Our Fate which I am so excited to read this. I didn't get to read it last month but it is Camden's story. It is small town. He's a billionaire from the city with too much money and he opens an art gallery right next to her bakery and he desperately needs a favor and she finds herself wanting him to stay in town so i'm very excited for that one as well so many good books to read i was also sent a copy of tempting the player by rebecca jenchak which i read and i loved this one is a bodyguard romance and she is a famous pop star well like not pop star but she's a famous actress turned musician and is in college and it came out in one of the previous books who she is and so her parents hire secretly a bodyguard for her and she doesn't know he's her bodyguard and it's a little bit of an age gap he used to be a football player he's living with his brothers so much about this to love highly recommend i was also sent these last two books by the authors so we have here with me by brooke montgomery which i also read and loved this one is a ex's dad romance where they both work at a ranch so she is a trainer and he is a farrier that means that he helps shoe the horses and like do stuff with the horses and she sleeps with him later realizes that it is her ex's dad and i love this one so much i think that it made so much sense why the dad wanted to salvage his relationship with his son but was falling in love with this woman and it was a lot of fun there's a little bit of suspense in here too so if you want some small town pick this up then i was also sent the summer i saved you by elizabeth o'rourke this one unfortunately i didn't love as much as i wanted to i love the summer we fell but this one is a single mom she's going through a divorce her ex is horrible and she moves into a cabin next to the hero who she had a crush on when they were little not little but like growing up at the lake houses and he is a businessman and she ends up actually working for him and it was okay i just wanted more angst and a little bit more plot than what we got then from the author i was also sent second down darling which i also read look at me reading all these books in my haul this does not happen but this one i was so excited for i gave it four and a half stars it is a friends to lovers but like she was best friends with him really wanted to tell him how she felt and he ended up sleeping with her sister unknowing that it was her sister but then realizing it was her sister and her sister was pregnant so she had his kid and so she tries to help raise the kid and her sister's kid with the guy that she's in love with and it just gets to be too much because she's seeing them together and it's just like really hard for her she's still in love with him so she moves to a different college and he ends up transferring to that college not knowing she's there because she cut off all communication and they're reunited and he's a single dad because her sister's awful and it was really good and he, he plays football that's why he transferred to the college okay we have these four so i bought some books i bought the stars are on our side by jennifer hartman i have to read this this one is a kind of sequel to still beating and lotus i heard you have to read those to read this one this is about a girl who survived the same serial killer that the still beating people were kidnapped by and i think it has flashbacks though to when she's like falling in love with this guy she was kidnapped with but we know his future <laughs> so very excited to read this very excited i was also sent the fall of bradley reed by morgan elizabeth from good girls pr so this one is about a girl who i think she like tries to get revenge on her ex and the hero is a fbi agent watching her search history because he's worried it sounds so much fun and i think zay from woody reed said it's a john tucker must die retelling or like inspired by that which love that movie so i'm very excited for this one i also had to get myself a copy of caught up by liz tom ford this one is the single dad baseball romance with the nanny and i guess she is a professional chef i have heard nothing but rave reviews about this and i know tori's obsessed so very excited to read this one i also needed to get free shipping from walmart because i was buying the special edition of king of greed so i ended up throwing in the hurricane wars by thea gonzin i saw this at barnes and noble and i thought it was super pretty but it was 30 dollars at barnes and noble and it was only 20 dollars on walmart's website this is a southeast asian fantasy romance and i wanted to read it so it looks good i've heard good things and I was sent A Christmas to Remember by Beverly Jenkins. This is her new romance in the Blessing series. And I don't know how much romances are in these actually, but it is a Christmas romance. And it says it's a Christmas wedding in their small town. So I'm going to be reading that one. I also had to order myself a copy of Madame before they did the traditionally published books and pulled the original covers. He's the Dom in the relationship. And I think it's an age gap possibly as well. I've seen mixed reviews. So we'll see 
how this one goes. Then let's go to this stand here. From the author, I was sent Best Laid Plans by Carla Sorensen. This one is actually on KU Read and Listen, so I might listen to the audiobook, but this one, our hero inherits a house, and I believe someone had passed away, and the heroine is brought in to help, like, renovate it, and he's very broody, upset, and grumpy, and I think he used to be a football player. So... I'm excited to have that one. I was also sent, this one sounds so good, The Gossip and the Grump by Pippa Grant. This one has a cute dog on the cover. He is the new owner of her family's cafe that she works at. He actually wants to gut and renovate the entire thing to get revenge against one of her family members, and she finds him irresistible, and they had a one-night stand, and he was so nice during that, and then he's just this grumpy, mean guy when it comes to work, and she gets in trouble because she gossips too much. And there's a dog, so... Excited to read that one. I also, while I was visiting Tori, ended up buying Crescent City 1 and 2 in the paperback versions that are so pretty. And I think these are the ones that we are going to annotate when we do our reread and not the originals with like the Bible thin papers. They're so pretty and I'm excited. It'll be my third time reading this one, but my second time reading this one before the new one comes out in February. I cannot wait. I also got a copy of The Long Game by Elena Armas that I DNF'd, so I don't know if I'll be keeping this. I pre-ordered it from Barnes & Noble. I was very excited. I listened to the audio for my book club. Was not a fan, so we'll see what I do with that one. I also wanted to buy a copy of Twisted Lies because I didn't want to ruin my indie copy that I have over here. They're not published in the male versions anymore, so it's very thick too. So I wanted it to be floppy and not be scared of ruining it, so I ordered this copy from Bloom. They're always really cheap on Amazon. Five stars, amazing. I read it, I loved it. This is my favorite in the Twisted series. Christian is on another level when it comes to romance heroes. I was obsessed with him. He is a billionaire and he's in some tech stuff that might not really be super legal and Stella is an influencer and it's fake dating. I love this one. I also ended up pre-ordering the Christmas wager. This one, I just like, it looks so cute. This is a new release. I got it when Barnes & Noble was doing their pre-order sale and it says that they are enemies. She is a real estate developer and she arrives in the small mountain town and wants to acquire their failing Christmas shop. And the town's owner is the stubborn grandson, and obviously they fall in love. This sounds like the perfect setup as like a Hallmark movie, and I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to be doing a Christmas reading vlog. I also ended up buying King of Pride while I was at Barnes & Noble when I was visiting Tori because it's the Barnes & Noble special edition, and I wanted that on my shelves. So I bought it to add to my collection. I also, from Berkeley, was sent Broken Prince. I'm so excited this got picked up because I was reading these as they were coming out, and I was obsessed with them. Very messy new adult romances of a girl who ends up moving in with her, her dad's best friend. I think she moves in with her dad's best friend and his sons, and it's a lot of fun. I was also sent a finished copy of Don't Forget Me Tomorrow by A.L. Jackson of this gorgeous hardback. I did not love this one as much as I wanted to. I loved book one of the series, but this one is a childhood friends lovers, second chance at a first chance, single mom, brother's best friend, but it was just a really slow book for me, and I had a hard time loving it, but this edition is really gorgeous. I was also sent these two special editions from Bell Book Box of The Duet by Jennifer Hartman. They are stunning. I cannot. Even the end pages are metallic. They are so pretty. Some of the prettiest ones I own. I love them. I love this duet. Well, I love the first book and not so much the second one, but I'm excited to have these for my Jennifer Harmon collection. Oh, here it is. Here's my special edition of Wrecked Palace. This one was the one that was in the Australian box. So, so pretty. Very excited to have this. It's such stunning art on the inside for each page. I love it. So, so cute. Okay, we're down to my last stack, which is good because I've been here too long. I have the Hello Lovely Trope of the Month book, which is Shortcake by Katana Collins. This one, there was a one night stand and now she's being arrested by him. So, happy to have a new special edition from Hello Lovely. I also was sent an arc of Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer Armentrout, which I didn't get to because I've heard a lot of people saying they didn't love it, so I didn't get to it. It is fantasy. It says he feeds on her pleasure. I think it was super spicy, so I will want to read it eventually, but none of my friends liked it, so let me know if you've read it. I also have a finished copy of Before the Sunset by Laura Pavlov. I've not read this yet. I need to get to it. This one is a fake dating romance. He is an actor, and she wants to prove to her ex-fiance that she's moved on, so I love a good fake dating romance. I'm very, very excited to read this. I also have Salt Kiss by Sierra Simone, which was sent to me from the publisher. I did also get this gorgeous art print with it as well. This 
this one is a Tristan and his old retelling, and I think that it is MFM, and is the guy who owns a sex club. She wants to be a nun, but her dad's a banker, making her get married to this guy, and it's with her bodyguard. So I read the novella, and I really liked it, so I can't wait to read that one. I was also sent Becoming Colder and Finding Eden. I love these books so much. They're romantic suspense. I read them years ago when they were indie published, and they have a cult. So they're both in a cult, and she's like the chosen one to marry the leader of the cult, and Calder wants her. So these are so good. I love them so much. I also ended up ordering the Ashes and the Star Curse King, which I don't love the texture of this one. I know my other edition of book one is matte. I'm pretty sure. But this one got picked up by a publisher, so I wanted to get it so that I had the original copy. Have not read this one yet, but I loved book one, so I have to get that one soon. I also was sent The Paris Roommates by Ava Miles. This one is a story about a woman who doesn't really love where her life is going. She had all these grand plans, and her host mother from When She's Studying Abroad in Paris is sick, and so she goes and meets up with her roommates back to Paris, and she tries to reinvent her life, and she falls in love, but she doesn't know if she should stay or go back to her normal life. So, excited to read that one. I also got the Illumicrate Afterlight edition of Cleat Cute by Meryl Wilsner. It is so stunning. I'm obsessed with their special editions. They are so pretty. So pretty. And this one was not my favorite book, but I'm excited to have the special edition. So, adding that to my collection. And then I did get from the publisher Love Holly by Emily Stone. I know some of this author's other ones are not actually romances. So we'll see if this one's actually a romance or not. But she was in a car accident that tore her family apart. Oh, and she's part of a Lonely Hearts Holiday Letter Club. So she writes to a stranger who is lonely on Christmas every year and receives a letter from another lonely person in return. The point of the letter is that they do not get answers, but I think someone ends up writing her back. Oh, and so she realizes she might actually be able to help find the letter's author and reunite this woman with her grandson. And that is the guy that she's going to have a romance with. I don't think she tells him that she's writing to the person he knows. So it sounds like it might be messy. I'm excited for another Christmas romance. I was gifted The Crown of Oaths and Curses, which I'm very excited for. This is Jay Bree. This one is her new fantasy. It is so chunky. I read one of the novellas and half the other one, but I DNF'd it because it's very boring. So we will see how this goes and if I like that one. I also at Barnes & Noble bought The Phoenix King because of this. I heard it's not super, super romance heavy, but look at that. That is basically a step back for a fantasy. So this one just says it's an action-packed fantasy of fire, magic, and ancient prophecy. So I know that's my TBR. And last but not least, I have the Mind F series from Mystic Box. I bought this one, and I'm obsessed. It is the most stunning book I own. I love this series so much, and this is perfect, and I cannot wait to display it on my shelves because it's so pretty. And that is my book haul from the past, like, month, month and a half. Let me know what you've added to your shelves and what you're excited for me to have. I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.